Hey, good morning. I've had a, a lot of requests to uh, show again my little 20 minute demonstration of Google Keep uh, that I did at last week's Utah Rural Schools Association Conference. Uh, and I'll post this to YouTube so anyone else can benefit from it as well. Uh, so let's talk about just quickly what Google Keep is. Google Keep, you can find my website, the, the post uh, here at this address here anytime. Uh, so Google Keep, is it? Oh, that's me. Find the site here again. So what is what is Google Keep? It's a web-based idea organizer and helps you when you can't remember stuff. Uh, so is it a G Suite app? Is it a Chrome extension? Is it an app for your phone? The answer is yes, all above. The great thing about Keep is that it works everywhere. When you're on your computer, when you're on your tablet, when you're on your phone, uh, you can capture uh, what you need to capture, a website, uh, a photo, a quick note, whatever you want to do. And I'll take you through and show you some of this today. Um, I won't go through all of these steps, uh, everything here to keep the recording short, but you're welcome to come back uh, and review, again, this this information anytime back here on uh, my website. Short link to this to this uh, will always be goo.gl forward slash ju capital Q 4 dk uh, follow me on Twitter, email me if you have questions. Uh, so let's jump in. Let's start off with the Chrome extension. Again, extensions uh, are little tools that live up here in the Chrome toolbar that help you do things on web pages. Uh, you can see I'm kind of a, an extension junkie, uh, but uh, Keep is one of them. So let's say I just want to keep this session and these links. I want to have all this information and the permalink uh, right here. So I click on the Keep uh, button there. When it lights up, that means it's taken a note from this site. Right there, links, it has my website address taken. I can give it a title and say uh, Google Keep Overview. Okay, so I have my note. Let's do another site here, another, uh, another uh, session that I did. Let's take one more note from this same site and Let's do this for, uh, I want to get that here. And keep it again. Dunk. And this will actually make a new note because I went to a new, uh, a new site. I'll call this one Google Sheets. Advanced. CED. Okay. But if I go back to that first page where everything else was, and I take another note here. Let's say we do this one right here. Keep already remembers that I've taken a note there. If I click Keep Now, it'll add that text onto whatever I've already grabbed. So same site, uh, same note. You can annotate and keep adding copyable, editable, searchable text into that note uh, from the same site. Or if you're on a different site, it'll capture a different note. Uh, and I think Google Keep is kind of awesome, so I'm going to add a label here. I'm going to say, oh, it's already I've already got awesome as a as a as a tag there, but I can create new labels here if I want. Um, Ursa Ursa won't work, will it? I already have Ursa. Let's have conference. Create conference. Okay, so anytime I want to see anything on conferences or awesome, I can go back to those to those tags. And once I take a note, where does it go from the extension? So Google Keep is a Chrome or is a, is a Google app. If you have a Google account, uh, Google Apps for Education, G Suite, uh, whatever we're calling it this week, uh, Google Keep is one of those apps in your waffle. If you just go down a little bit uh, under more, Keep is right there. You can also get there by just directly going to, going to keep.google.com. And all of your notes that you've taken, there's my advanced Google Sheets, Google Keep Overview. If I want to click into the note, there's my first highlight, there's my second highlight, um, and then the two different um, exact articles that I took those from are, are referenced there. I can also quickly pull in uh, pre-existing labels from here, add a label, change labels, and then if I wanted to add Google Keep, which I already have as a label there, just hit that and it's added to the note. Okay, so let's take a look at writing notes from the Chrome app, from the G Suite app. So I'm just gonna make, just start typing here. I'm gonna, we've got a concert coming up next week, uh, which we're traveling for. So these are the things I need. 
the concert tickets, I need the uh, airline tickets, I need the flight numbers, I need a blanket for sure, I need uh, binoculars, hit return on that, if I can't type I can right click on that and it doesn't know what numbers are. Okay, so let's give it a title, this is going to be the Jack Johnson concert uh, concert trip and then I'm going to just up here I'm going to click ash, or a hashtag travel and I've already got a travel tag created so I can click travel and it's also concert so and concert I've already got that one created too if I want if I use the hashtags up here in the title I can create a new um, let's do hashtag trip and I can create a new label just with hashtags in the title. Um, okay, so I've got that labeled, but I really want this to be a checklist. I want to keep track of what I've done, what I haven't done. Uh, so here in the snowman menu, I can say show checkboxes. And now, automatically, it is a list that I can now make sure I have my, my, my most important things listed up on top. I think uh, airline tickets are probably we're going to need first, then probably the concert tickets. So I can reorganize uh, those as well. Now my wife's coming along on my trip with me. This little button here, Google Keep allows me to add collaborators uh, to a note. It doesn't add everyone, uh, all of your contacts or whoever you add as, as that doesn't give them access to all of your Keep notes, it's just this individual note. Uh, so I'm going to say Kelly and that's her email address. I'll hit save and now she has access to the note and can add items to it. If she doesn't know, I'm, I'm demoing this right now, but if this little circle turns red, that means that she's in keep, she's adding to the note uh, and helping me out. Let's add some more things to the list though. We need some comfy clothes. Need a big hat, sunblock. You get the idea. I can keep adding those um, items and again, organizing them in order of importance or how whatever makes sense to me to have most important. I can organize these notes by color. If you're if you're just an aesthetic person and just like to have uh, your notes, you know, used to sticky notes in different colors, uh, you can organize your notes by color. So if you're a person that says, if this is something I have to get done today, it's red, it's hot. If I'm in progress, it's orange. If it's done, it's green or cool blue, uh, however you work. I've made these, these little uh, labels here, but what if I want to go back and look at all of my uh, items that I've labeled with those things. Uh, this little hamburger menu up here in the upper right may be hidden on your screen, may not, uh, but if you want to get access to the labels you've created, uh, they're right there. So if I want to go to travel, I can see all of the things that I've listed under travel or concert. Uh, let's check out my awesome tags. There's my one awesome note. Um, but if I just want to go back to my all of my notes, they're right available right there. Now what about search? Google Keep is built by Google, obviously, and Keep is uh, definitely has great search options, and it's always trying to help you work a little faster. And you can see that the phone app and the web app both work really, really fast. Even on older hardware, it works really well. But when I just click in the search box, it's gonna—it's like a little anxious puppy. It's like, what can I help you with? What can I find? I, do you want to find reminders, list images, drawings? Do you want to look at these labels? Do you want to look at travel, places you're going? Do you want to organize notes by people? Or by color and I can again always go in here and search and type in Jack and immediately uh, whatever I can remember about that note will come up instantly uh, in that search field but now what if I want to add a picture to this note or any of my notes uh, I do have the camera on my computer but you don't always want to hold things up to it uh, and that's where the phone comes in super handy so let's switch over and show you what uh, what's going on on the phone over here uh, I can access Google Keep just by the uh, app there. It's an iOS and Android app. Let's open up that um, that note there. And then down on the lower left, I can check plus. And if I've already taken the image, I can choose it off my phone. I can do doodles and drawings, but let's take a photo. I'll switch it around. Can't wait to go to my concert. Ooh. So use that photo. You can see that it... it uh, Sinks there, and as soon as I get back out of the note, 
you might see a little spinny wheel on the phone saying it's syncing and then shortly it should be uh, over here on keep on my uh, on the live version or on the web version there it is so there's my this smiling face so I can use the phone in conjunction with the desktop to collaboratively take notes with myself which is really kind of cool let's see it syncs over the computer I can add a drawing to that if I want or a, a, just a, a drawing note these haven't been syncing too greatly but uh, this is note I'm not much of a drawer or artist but you have different pens you can highlight uh, make cool little colors and things and then again when I come back out of that note it should sync with my f with uh, keep and that those notes have been coming in as blank on keep I don't know what's uh, what the problem is there uh, but it still stays on my phone I can also do audio notes um, if you're on an iOS device and wondered what the use is of this what they call a deep press if like I press deeply on an icon uh, I get a little extra menu of things I can do with it on keep it's pretty actually really helpful if I just do a deep press so not press and hold but just press firmly I can share this app I can add a new audio note all those different kind of notes very quickly uh, I'm gonna just choose audio and I'm gonna take a little audio note here make sure we have plenty of food for the dog sitter all right and so you can see that I'll give it a title dog sitter done and not only has it does it save my uh, Make sure recording we here. have plenty don't of know food if you can hear it or not dog sitter. Uh, but it plays through and it also has transcribed that text into editable copyable searchable text which is really kind of amazing um, I can add again notes to this whoops add label where the labels go there we go label and we'll call this uh, travel because it certainly has to do with that there we go and then I also want to have a reminder of this when I uh, these uh, all these notes have uh, really great reminders for not only date and time but also location so if I'm going to Smith's and I want to be reminded that's the little icon with the finger with the, with the string tied around it so I can choose a date and, or time but let's pick a place and I'll ch just type in Smith's there we go and so the next time I'm at Smith's Google Keep will shoot up a little reminder on my screen that says hey make sure we have plenty of food for the dog sitter so uh, very convenient very nice way to uh, remember you can also put that on to-do lists so when you're at the hardware store pick up XYZ um, really nice thing okay here is one of the most awesome things that that Google Keep does uh, when you're at conferences or when you're in meetings and stuff like that there always seems to be paper uh, that you have to keep track of and then that paper usually ends up in a drawer and you never do anything with it uh, so what Google Keep is great at is allowing you to take notes by shooting uh, pictures of whiteboards or handouts that you get this is a little agenda from a, a board meeting I went to um, about a, about two weeks ago I'll use that photo and now it is in keep I can give it a title if I want uh, UETN board EAT okay and I can continue to take notes on that if I want uh, the reason why I'm stalling here a little bit is because Google keep has a, a superpower uh, that you may not know about and may not see immediately uh, once the phone has a few minutes to, to chew on this picture so to speak what it does is it will scan that picture and make that text if you have text in there grabbable and there it is grab image text sometimes it takes about 10 20 30 seconds uh, but if I choose grab image text you can see that now below the picture all of the text that was on that page is now in my note and that text is now searchable copyable pasteable editable uh, which is amazing one more thing to note uh, I believe that at least a few weeks ago last time I kind of checked uh, the grab image text is only available from the phone uh, by finding the image in the phone and clicking that little snowman menu uh, I, it's now available in the keep app in Chrome so if I once the note is synced over grab image text and then that, again that text comes down here in the bottom of that note and that's all searchable editable copy pasteable 
uh, text from your from your piece of paper, which is really cool. Now, this is the part of the demonstration where we get to the most awesomest thing that Google Keep does or allows you to do. So you can see that Keep's pretty good at taking notes, but it's not like an Evernote replacement where Evernote's really good at long form uh, notes like that. But what you do is you use Keep and Docs in conjunction uh, using the Google Keep toolbox. So how do you do that? I'm gonna quickly create a new document here from another little extension I like. Google Docs Quick Create Document. So I don't have to go find Drive and, and dig all that stuff out. Um, there is a nice tool here called the Explore tool that uh, is another day, another uh, training, but check it out if you want. But uh, Keep Notepad is a tool there that you may not have noticed, recognized, known that it was there. And what that does, this brings your Google Keep notes right into your document. So it's easy to add this stuff right into uh, a document that you're working on. So let's say I wanted to take notes on this agenda here. Uh, all I need to do, find a little snowman menu at the top of each note and add to document. And you can see that it quickly added that image, added all the text that was there that I already grabbed. If I want to change the image, just like working in a regular Google Doc, I have all those uh, options there to, uh, to go in here, modify the text, edit, copy, paste, do whatever I want to do with it. And I can keep going. Uh, if there's another note, like say I want to grab this uh, the stuff from Google Sheets. This is stuff that was presented at the uh, at the uh, the presentation at my board meeting. I can just quickly add those notes in. If there are any images in there, um, I can add those quickly as well. So amazing superpowers! I can really see you know collaborating on notes with yourself, uh, taking notes in Docs where you've got all the tools, all the editing options plus the ability and keep to grab it a text note grab an image and then just keep working together with yourself or other collaborators so uh, that is my overview of google keep um, i hope you enjoyed it uh, again follow me at scdc clint i'll post this stuff i post videos uh, to youtube and that those get sent to my uh, twitter feed all the time uh, if you have questions you can email me clint at scdck12.org uh, but happy keeping.